and art so guys today i'm going to discuss about the database migration of size around 10 tb uh, so a couple of questions i received uh, you know uh, the situation came where the database size is huge big uh, around 10 tb or more than 10 tb and the problem is uh, you have very less you know uh, the downtime from the client side and you are uh, you know you can you are not able to think how to proceed the database migration within that time window okay so we'll discuss in this session uh, what we can do uh, you know in an optimized way to do the migration so uh, i will I, I want to share couple of experience to you guys okay so maybe it will be helpful so uh, whoever new on my channel please do like subscribe so let's jump to the session if you come to next slide so uh, I'm trying to you know uh, make you understand with uh, based on this diagram uh, how we can proceed uh, the the huge size of database uh, you know uh, migration from the legacy to target uh, so uh, hope you will like it so here the situation is uh, you know uh, the database size was around 10 TB okay and now the now the challenge is uh, you know uh, the client if you look here I marked highlighted the client is not ready to uh, give the downtime more than one hour and they want to do the migration also from the legacy to target okay so uh, now the it's a big challenge uh, to any you know DBA uh, how we can proceed within the provided downtime okay so uh, uh, here uh, we have a couple of approach uh, we can do uh, within the time window and but for that you need to plan accordingly okay uh, so based on the plan you can you can make this challenge success okay so uh, let's uh, if you can see here uh, we have a legacy database 10 tv and and it was the physical box also it may be uh, you, know, you can transfer the database on a you know uh, 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 f uh, to the cloud also as well so uh, here we have a legacy database 10 tb and the target we need to you know migrate our 10 tb database okay so now the option is uh, you know uh, what we can do because i got a downtime only one hour so what i would suggest uh, you can do within the time window with this approach definitely you can do you can you need to plan better you know so what you can do uh, if suppose uh, you are planning to do the migration uh, you know uh, so in the next month or maybe so prior to cut over you know you need to plan the you know the pre migration uh, okay so what is that pre migration so basically uh, when your cut over is you know in a uh, next month maybe so you need to plan the migration from now onwards okay so what we can do back end if you got the you know uh, the you know the server is ready all, all things is deployed whatever the uh, you know prerequisites is uh, there on a target server it's done so now you need to take the initiative for the database migration so what you can do uh, create a migration plan you know prior to the actual migration cutover so uh, in this option what we can do uh, you can you know uh, take a backup of a legacy database and do the restoration on target and target server as we know uh, it's a new right uh, so we can do the restoration because nobody no one is using just now server created and for the new application new so uh, you can do the migration on that um, uh, target server and parallelly uh, you can you know schedule a jobs for the uh, daily incremental and log backups okay so what we can do uh, so either you need to write a script you know uh, if you are able to write a script you do the right a script so a script will do the take the backups daily backups uh, it will transfer to the uh, you know your target server uh, you can you can take help for powershell script it will take the your backup from the legacy and it will you know copy the backup to the target and it will do the restoration as well okay so uh, based on the script you can do or, or manually you need to do this task manually if you want to do the manually manually also you can do daily incremental you can move it uh, from the legacy to target and 
restore it and as well as the log also you can do it so uh, what's happened uh, during the cutover time when you are planning for the cutover so during the cutover only you need to you know implement the uh, that time frame log backups let's assume uh, uh, today night uh, around you know 10 pm uh, your cutover is started so what's happening basically uh, during the cutover window you got uh, the you know one, one hour down, down time so 10 pm to 11 pm you have downtime so uh, basically during this period application is disconnected from the database even the you know so uh, legacy also uh, so no there is no transaction on a legacy database also so whatever the logs backup taken that is up to mark so you need to move that log backups to target server and restore it okay so uh, through this way you can definitely uh, achieve this goal uh, the migration of huge big size of database within a less time uh, window so this is the uh, you know one of the approach you can do it you can try it whenever you have a challenge like uh, you know huge big database migration within a less time uh, window okay and the second option which i used actually uh, so uh, this is also pretty much good tool actually it's a third party tool so if you go and read this uh, read about this tool so it's a basically carbonite uh, you know safe server backup so what carbonite ba uh, tool is doing actually uh, it's a pretty much good tool for doing the migration so i will explain here a bit uh, what carbonite uh, I, I have mentioned here the carbonite moves use the real time byte level replication to create a replica of the data application database or complete the server being migrated so what how the carbonite is working actually basically it's doing the replication from the legacy to target as a byte level so uh, let's assume uh, you have uh, this is the legacy and this is the target so if you are using the carbonate option 2 so what carbonate will work here so carbonate will create jobs between legacy and target and it will move the all the data you know uh, from the os level entire server also we can migrate uh, through the you know uh, carbonate it will migrate the os level also if you want to migrate the you know entire host whatever the host uh, so that also we can do but here we are uh, we want the only for the database perspective so what it will do uh, on a legacy server where the database you know uh, the respective files is present on that particular drive so that drive level so that uh, it will it will create a replication between legacy to target and it will take the that you know, those uh, database files and it will re restore it on a you know the target server and it's happening in real time so when we are saying the real time so uh, suppose uh, it the carbonate is not you know uh, creating the any impact on the legacy server you can uh, we can connect the you know uh, the rep, uh, the legacy server legacy database uh, there is a no you know impact uh, because of the carbonate because uh, it's doing the back end jobs so it's doing the uh, you know byte level trans uh, replication so basically uh, we can do the real time replication so uh, whatever the transaction is happening on the legacy uh, immediately the carbonate job will keep on that on the target database file okay so uh, this tools how uh, how we can achieve the goal so uh, during the cutover uh, when the application is disconnected from the legacy the, so there is a no ongoing transaction on a legacy database so whatever the up to dated committed transaction it will all it already replicated to target uh, with the help of carbonate tool so now here on a target machine during the cutover you need to just simply attach the database with the help of database primary and secondary files okay because you have the same exact copy you know uh, of database file from the legacy to target normally we are doing the what we are following the in attach and detach we are you know disconnecting the database uh, application on a legacy and we are taking those files and we are you know restoring uh, on a target machine and then we are doing the attach so one of the you know migration approach is also uh, attach and detach so that we are doing the manually but carbonate is helping here in a background suppose uh, your migration uh, so so you can initiate the jobs carbonate jobs right away and it will it, it will start working in, in a background and it will give the you know uh, 
uh, the all the real time replication to the target machine and you can achieve this goal within this time frame you can do the migration of huge big database so this is the one of the best tool i have used uh, in a migration if you can you can, uh, it's available in your organization or you know in, in your projects you can use it these tools it's a pretty much good tools uh, these tools uh, you can you know as i said uh, it's it's happening uh, from the physical to physical physical to cloud anywhere you can do the migration with the help of these tools entire host you can do the migration you, even you want to any application uh, uh, server uh, folders which requires uh, you know in, even the uh, for the application perspective that folders data it may be it's huge like you know 10 terabytes that also the folder also you can uh, migrate with the help of this carbonate tool there is no need to do the manual work so i would suggest uh, go and read this carbonate uh, functionality pretty much i i have covered uh, the basic functionality of the carbonate tool how it's helping in a sql database migration how it's working actually so if you want to see the console and all uh, you need to read bit ahead uh, bit pretty much uh, uh, about the carbonate tools okay so this how uh, we can achieve this goals uh, whenever you have this kind of a challenge uh, to do the migration of huge big database within a lesser time uh, downtime period so we can choose this approach and you know you can plan the accordingly uh, for the migration and we can achieve this goal definitely i'm telling you you can do it with this approach so for this approach you need to plan the accordingly as i said uh, before the cutover you need to plan prior to the cutover you need to you know uh, schedule a plan like this then you can you know uh, achieve this goal so uh, my agenda today is what uh, you know uh, to tell you guys how we can do the huge big size of database migration within a less time frame so for this uh, for today session that that's it guys uh, hope you understand how we can do the migration of the huge big database size within a lesser down, down time window okay so thank you guys in a next video i will come with the another topics till then bye bye cheers and whoever not subscribe my channel please do like subscribe thank you